Now hold on, hold on. Now. Yep, Jordan, come on up here. Come on up here to the rock, okay? So, Mommy, we are not Mommy's supposed to follow. We all coming too. I want you guys both up there with us. Marriage is a blending of hearts. It's a union of two lives as one. And your marriage stands not by the authority of the state or by the power of your wedding certificate, but it stands by the strength of your love and by the power of your faith in one another. Your lives, which begin on separate paths, now come together as one, and you will become stronger, better, and deeper, not only individually, but also as a couple today. There's three encouragements that I want to give you. Number one, Every day be grateful for each other. Second of all, live each day as if it's your last day. Make every moment count that you have together. Because each of you, by your tender words and your kind actions, can make your home and your marriage a very safe place for one another. The last thing, but perhaps the most important, is make love and respect the strong foundation of your life together. A happy, loving marriage has love and respect in it. And that love and respect can only be sustained if you're both deeply committed to always being open and honest and trustworthy. Love each other just the way that you are. Don't try to change each other. And respect one another, your dreams and your goals for the rest of your life. My hope for you is that you have many long years to enjoy each other's company. My hope for you 
is that you build a home that is once sheltering and welcoming. My hope for you is that you're grateful for the good fortune that you've had in finding one another and the good fortune that you have of loving one another. And my hope for you is that you will love and be loved by not only your friends and family that are here, but those that are waiting back home to celebrate with you. And you have uh, chosen to share vows with each other. Yes. And so now is that time. He has mine to your first. Uh, I go first. Yeah. <coughs> <But> don't me <we> fall. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good right now. I just can't. I love you with everything I have. Today I am so proud to call you my wife. Words will never be enough to show the love I have for you. When I'm with you, my heart beats so fast. It feels like it may explode if I let myself feel just how much I love you. The extent of your beauty is overwhelming, both inside and out. I cannot possibly live without you. I promise to be there for you and our family, and I will never let you down. I look forward to growing old with you. <laughs> you are my best friend, my soulmate. I love you since the day I met you. <laughs> and I will continue to do so forever. Sorry. Oh, my tears. Huh? What? No, I have it in my hand. I pulled it up. Oh, God. <laughs> Michael, it was only after, it was after only a couple of dates, stop reading it, <laughs> that I knew that there was such a special connection between us that I was not even able to make sense of it right away, and I knew without a doubt that you felt the same. It is such a gift to have found and now truly know and understand the meaning of having a soulmate. You are the great love of my life, the person that I want to grow old with, <laughs> grow my family with, and together experience everything life has to offer. With you, the fairy tale has become reality, and I know with every shred of my being that you're the man that I'm meant to spend the rest of my life with. I have more respect and admiration for you than I could ever ha imagine having for another human being. With such a special connection and great love comes great responsibility. Something so rare should be honored and treasured in order to be maintained. Today, I vow to love, honor, and respect you and our partnership as much as I do now for the rest of our lives. I promise to never lose sight of what a unique gift we have together, to set an example for our children of the type of partnership and relationship that they should aim to have. I vow to love you as passionately and wholeheartedly at 95 and 115 as I do today, and you honor me by making me your wife. <laughs> it's not coming out of <laughs> It's all right. You're right, yours is longer. <laughs> Uh, could you hold each other's rings, please? Yeah. Do you have the rings? Yes, yes, yes. And I just want to take a moment, because even though these rings are small in size, they're very large in significance. And there's a couple things that I want to draw your attention to. And the first thing is, as you look at these rings, they're in a perfect circle, which is a great reminder that uh, because these rings have no ending to them, that your love for one another never ends. Second of all, these rings are very precious, not just because of what they're made out of, but because they represent your goals, your dreams, the memories that you've made so far, memories you're making today, and the memories that you're going to make in the future. So whether you're together or apart, my hope for you is, you know, those times when you kind of touch the ring on your finger, that you'll be reminded that your love for one another never ends, and that your love for each other is very precious. So, Mike, if you'll take Allison's ring and put it on her ring finger, and once you get it on there, if you hold it there and repeat after me. I'm a little swollen, so he's got to get. It's okay. Slide down the rest of the way. All right. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign that I choose you. As a sign that I choose you. To be my lover, my partner, and my best friend. Wear it and think of me, and know that I love you. And Allison, if you'll take Mike's ring and put it on his ring finger, please. And repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign that I choose you. As a sign that I choose you. To be my lover. To be my lover. My partner. My partner. And my best friend. And my best friend. Wear it and think of me. Wear it and think of me. And know that I love you. And know that I love you.
And now because you've declared your love for one another by sharing vows and exchanging rings by the authority given to me by the state of Nevada, I now pronounce you husband and wife. And Mike, you get to kiss your new wife. Congratulations, Thank Mr. You. and Mrs. Jacobson. Thank you.